Hi there, my name is Nicole Lisa. I am a transformational love coach and I work with amazing empowered, empowered women from all over the globe who are ready to attract their most ideal love life and they're taking that responsibility, like they're taking it in and they're just holding it in their hands. They understand that it's truly up to them to really create the love life of their dreams. I help women like you truly become and own their most magnetic, um, empowered feminine self and truly own their goddessness. So that is amazing because it helps you truly own your power and your love life in such an epic way where you attract an amazing counterpart, your divine counterpart, um, if you want to call it that way. And it makes you feel good because you took the reins and you took charge in your love life not in a masculine way but you decided that it was if if you needed to create something in your life it was truly up to you so today i wanted to share with you a really empowering video on feminine energy secrets that are empowering and that guide you to attract the right men online i definitely recommend that you watch this video until the very end you subscribe to my channel to get more videos um, of this material and also really, really, truly pay attention to this video because I'm going to share with you an, like the in-depth ways in which, uh, you can start to attract eligible men or eligible bachelors, like online people that are your divine counterpart. Um, as I said, so in order to really get this clear, you, you want to have a real understanding of what's going on. A lot of women, um, when you mention to them online dating, they get incredibly frustrated. They're like, oh, no way, I don't wanna do it. Or if you're already online, you get really frustrated. You're taking breaks from online dating or you're kind of just meeting the same type of guy. And it's frustrating to you, I totally get it. The reason why you're attracting kind of like the same type of guy where things are not really flowing um, or moving in the dire direction that you want, or men who just want sex, men who kind of breadcrumb you, men who just lack commitment and consistency, whatever your case is, is because number one, I find that in order for a feminine woman to attract the, the right type of men, she must feel confident in her feminine essence, number one. And that is a sensitive topic. So Stay with me here. Why do I say this? It's because the number one thing that you need to know and that is going to create a big change for you to attract the right type of men online is that you need to be in your body, okay? When we look at feminine energy, feminine energy is an energy of being in your body. It's our realm. It's where we uh, exude so much light that we just attract. And your, your mind could tell you, but Nicole, like I'm online and I have a hectic lifestyle or I have a lot going on, you know, like I have my own business, I have my own career, my, my own company or whatever you are doing, right? Or you have like kids, et cetera, whatever it is that you're doing, it's, it's very stressful um, for, for me to be handling these sort of things. And that's exactly my point. So when a woman is not in her body, she's no longer em emitting like that magnetic uh, frequency vibration of light, of energy. We are the light, okay? So if you're feeling really frazzled, what happens or just not there, annoyed or in a really masculine space, all of those are signs that you are no longer in your body as the feminine woman that you are. Okay, somewhere you have your own unique story or situation that made you go from your body to go in your mind, right? You're up here thinking, trying to solve day-to-day -day scenarios and cases, or maybe it just doesn't feel safe for you to truly be in your body. There's a full spectrum of situations that you know cause a woman not to be in her body. Maybe you your problem solving things in your mind, day to day stuff. But then for many women, there is a deeper reason why they're not fooling their bodies. They might not feel like it's safe for them to be in their bodies as a feminine being. 
And this is subtle, okay? It starts really, um, I'm not, when I say that you don't feel safe to be in your body, I'm not talking about something necessarily extreme, although it could be, right? For me personally, I was so attacked growing up um, from my parents about specifically like on my mom's side, you know, like you're this, you're this, you're the other. I felt like my mom was criticizing my body all of the time to the point where it was just like, oh my God, it's not safe for me to enjoy who I am and to enjoy my light and my beauty. So it was safe for me to develop more the realm of being intelligent or being wise, okay? So that is something that got positive attention with my parents. So as you see, I'm not giving you this big case of why, right? But it was real to me and it was relevant to me and it was really important. And it's just never really felt safe for me to be in my body and to enjoy my femininity. It didn't feel safe. So some of the stories, and I invite you to, to, to find out which one is yours, um, could be one of the ones that I mentioned, or it's just personal and unique to you, of course, right? Like every woman is, is, is a universe, like that's just who we are. So I just hope that this, this, this is gonna bring in light and consciousness of what's going on. So some of the cases that I see is women feel overwhelmed at work. They feel like they're in competition with men. Um, they have to prove themselves. They're in this like fight energy of like, I have to prove, I have to go ahead and do things. Or they're very feminine, but they feel like they cannot rely on people, right? So they're maybe like the head of the company in, 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 in their business. And they feel like they cannot rely on people. And they feel like all of it, like just um, all of the pressures in their shoulders, okay? So in that pressure and in that energy, you go in your mind, you become competitive or frustrated or whatever, but you're, you have a story, okay? And your energy is up here. You're not fully blossoming and letting yourself really be supported, uh, encouraged, understood, and be seen by who you really are. One of the things that I notice about feminine energy is that we do represent an energy of union and community and in being in relationship with people too. It's one of the, um, it's one of our major things. And when we don't know how to truly be in relationship with people and we have these energies of being disappointment, let down, not met, all of that energy, okay? And we carry it with us like it's a, it's, it's a, it's a badge or um, it's, it's a torn, right? But we, we have to deal with it. We make it real. What happens is that we don't feel safe enough to be in the body, Okay. So take that energy every single day, right? You taking on the energy of you've been disappointed, et cetera. And then somebody tells you, like a coach or somebody, a friend tells you, hey, why don't you try online dating? And a part of you is excited and you, 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 you come back to your body, right? Just because the idea of being met by somebody that you desire to, to, to truly support you um, a masculine man, an empowered masculine man, is you, you immediately start to feel like a, some sort of sense, of sense of safety, right? You don't necessarily need to create a sense of safety just, you know, with a man. But um, you, you, does that make sense? I, I'm not going to go there because it's, I tend to explain myself a lot. And I just want to go <laughs> to the point in, in this video with you. So the thing is that you immediately start getting excited about it and you come to your body and you're like, oh, I'm, let me put these pictures, let me do this. And you are swiping right, doing what you need to do, and you're meeting the wrong type of guy, right? Number one, what's currently going on is that you're not in your body like half of the day or even more if you're constantly on the go, 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 and processing things just up here, okay? So many things happen there. When, as a woman, we become really intuitive and open when we are in our bodies. So if we are not used to being in our bodies, it means that we can have a lot of defense mechanisms going on and stories and reasons why we stay up here, okay? So it's not, if, like, it's, not, it's not effective when you put yourself like online there because let me tell you something. Men cannot feel your energy. Like they just cannot feel it. You can be online when, when you are in your body, Okay, when you really are in your body, 
and you're enjoying yourself and you're full of life and trust, you will be the most magnetic woman online. Okay? That's just it. Think about it. Like when you are feeling really good, maybe you've had like a couple of drinks or you're going out dancing with your girlfriends and you, you start feeling really good about yourself, I don't know where you get a text from a guy online. Okay. Maybe that's when all the guys start like approaching you because your energy is felt all across the universe. Okay. Like I'm going to go esoteric or metaphysical with you here. Like it's the truth. Your energy is felt across the entire universe. Okay. It's also the same reason when you are kind of panicky about a guy that you're talking to and then he just disappears and you start worrying about what you should do. He never texts, but when you actually let him go and you're relaxed and you're enjoying yourself, he shows up. So one of the things that you really need to get here is that you have to learn how to be in your body consistently, not to get a man, not to get a man's attention. Okay. Cause this is an interesting thing because you feel unsafe about expressing your femininity, or maybe you've built ideas that your femininity will not be accepted, or you feel like it will be taken up advantage of at work or on your company or whatever it is that you're doing okay when you when you build that energy up basically what happens is that you become more masculine okay and masculine is very linear energy so you can either think i have to be my masculine for this i have to be my feminine for this i have to be my masculine for this i have to be my feminine for this okay and that's not the idea. That's not where I invite you to go. Okay. Cause you're not, it's just a lot. It's, it's, I'll tell you my honest truth about this. It's, it's a lot of stress. Okay. If you feel like if you are a naturally feminine woman, naturally feminine, and you feel like you have to be 50, 50 or 70, 20, uh, 30 in your like 70 in your masculine 30, because that's just how the world is. Okay. Two things can happen or more. You can attract either a guy that embodies more masculine, feminine energy, right? Or you keep being unmet because you haven't truly processed, released, or cleared the belief systems and the objections that you have about being in your feminine energy totally and completely. See? Many people, that's why I said feminine energy um, is a little bit of a sensitive topic because I'm not telling you how to be a woman, okay? Or I'm not telling that you're not being woman enough. I'm not saying that. That's like the main reaction that I sometimes receive from people when I, wait, I'm not, I'm not telling you how to be like, no. Um, there's a lot of reactiveness to that statement. So what I am saying is that it is safe for you to be in your feminine energy. Feminine energy is not just about your looks or about being pretty or who knows about getting a man or about trivial, tri trivial things. It is truly an energy of receptivity, of confidence, of power, of magnetism, right? Of community, of creativity okay, of union, if, if, like, and it's an incredibly powerful energy, it's life force energy, it just draws to you, right, like, you are a magnet, you draw what you want to you, not through force, or to control, you can easily attract what you want through that creativity and that confidence in your worth and your deservedness, okay, so, you have to learn how to truly embody that mind, body, and spirit. When you are in that space where you are mastering your magnetism, your attractiveness, your goddessness, learning how to be in your body in such a way consistently, right? Your energy is really relaxed and open to receive. So therefore, kind of like the law of polarity will magnetize to you the right appropriate masculine men that you want your energy will be open and it will also have an energy of trust added to it okay so in that space what you want can come to you 
But if you are, this is important, if you are constantly going back and forth, if you're a naturally feminine woman in your energy, so a part of you is not trusting. And that's what I want you to get. You're not feeling safe to be in your feminine. Therefore, it makes you go into a masculine space. And because it makes you go into a masculine space when that's not your natural essence, a part of you is not trusting. And in that lack of trust, what we vibrate, constantly vibrating is fear. Fear of not being accepted for my femininity. Fear of being misunderstood. Fear of lack, like somebody might take away my job or I'm gonna be let down, I'm not gonna be met. And that energy is just fear, lack of trust, okay? Even if you've achieved certain you know, levels of success in your career, in your business, it has been effective. Please don't take this as an attack. It has led you places, okay? It has led you places in life. Like I said, you could be like the owner of your company. You could be whatever it is. Now, you will notice that when it comes to your next, I would say, I don't say evolution, but your next step, your next jump, if there's resistance, and that leap requires for you to trust more, to open up more to relationships, to let yourself be met by those relationships, whether it is in your work life or in general, okay? When, and you have resistance to that, you know, I remember this quote by Albert Einstein that says, no problem can be solved at the same level of consciousness that created the problem in the first place. Something like that. Or what we resist persists. I don't know if that's by Albert Einstein, but it's like, you, like there's a resistance or a blockage or negativity uh, or a lack of belief is a better phrase towards the opening up of the relationship or of attracting what you want. So you, you, that's why you need to actually work on your feminine energy because the feminine is met, it is protected, it is safe, it is guarded, it is kept beautiful by life. And you have to learn that. And it's not through, I'm gonna get the man to feel that way. It's actually learning how to trust yourself first in your femininity and coming back to earth. So when you open up an app, you will be the magnet. You will attract with ease. Obviously what I'm sharing with you here works in all aspects, like outside of online dating too. The issue is that you just come back to your body for that little while. And then you want to meet an incredibly amazing masculine man, but you are not fully being in your feminine either. Or, I mean, it's, it's fine if you have like a little bit of masculine energy to support you if you are a naturally feminine person, if it works for you. Does that make sense? But there's like this realm of power and creativity where you can create from an easy free flow that will you own the energy of being supported rather than feeling like you have to like go at it like a wolf or something on your own. Does, does that make sense? It's like the feminine is supported. So there's two ways to go at things in life, the masculine or the feminine, right? Masculine energy tends to be more about doing things their, their way. Sometimes it could be um, solitary, right? Or they have their brotherhood, right? But when you start to operate outside of your like authentic essence, it just creates a lot of inner drama and chaos for you. Your energy cannot be felt properly, okay? That's why you're meeting the type of men that you don't want in the first place. So hopefully this is really resonating with you because it is important. You need to take responsibility for this. If you're not taking responsibility for it, what, what the mind or the fear of mind will have you do is try to protect yourself by hiding under, it's just the men on this app. It's just the men in this city. I'm not being met, Nicole. I'm not being met by the men that I'm seeing, but secretly ask yourself if you're being met in general or to the real place of fulfillment that you really want. And that requires ownership and looking within you and the places where you, like, there needs to be like healing, upgrading, embodiment of your real feminine essence and having the courage and the bliss to just see it all the way through. 
because you can do it. She's like, I find it to be, this is like the most important woman that women need to do in general, right? That way you're not stressing yourself out. You're not carrying a super successful business, but you're super stressed out. Therefore you cannot receive. All of these are sabotage tactics that the ego creates, but we must learn not to hide underneath the story of not being met. This is just how men are. This is just what's going on in my city. We must learn not to hide inside of that, right? Because it's just a cycle that we, like, you don't want, want to recreate. So who's with me? Are you with me right now? Do you see why you need to learn how to be in your, in your body for real? What happens is this lack of trust that makes you go back and forth, okay? In your energy, which shows like a lack of like that presence, that magnetism. Um, if you are not trusting, I'm going to do you this way. If you're not trusting that you can be met at a deep um, level in your psyche, what makes you think that you're going to attract a man that can really meet you on the outside? It's a match of energy. So what happens when it comes to online dating, it's just exasperated, right? It's just huge. You see it so bluntly in your face that your ego is not going to like it. And it's going to want to hide underneath that. What I'm inviting you to do is to take ownership, take responsibility. Some women, what they do is that they just come back really quickly and they're like, you know, the man must entertain me. The man must come in and, and show me the, the masculine presence. And they expect the masculine man to show up when they're not in their bodies. Men need to feel you. Okay. They need to feel you. If you're in your mind, they cannot feel you. And they treat you more of like a masculine person. That's why you're attracting more of like the feminine people that are in, in their feminine energy or you're not men, okay? Many things happen online that trigger you, but it's not a bad thing, it's just an insight of the collective belief systems that we're holding around it, okay? So the more you are in your body and the more you work on feeling safe in your body and your femininity, the more you are aligned to attract like your divine counterpart. Um, I, work with clients inside of my super exclusive goddess of love program it, it is a really intimate group of women who work with me uh on a really intimate exclusive really high vibe kind of like vip way right where they get to spend a lot of time with me where we work on releasing the unique things that get in the way of you really feeling safe in your being, letting yourself really be seen, loved, cherished, adored, worshipped, whatever you want to call it, um, and really learning how to magnetize to you, th that to you. And what's funny about this is, like, these women attract incredible men, and also, like, men that are, like, divine counterparts, soulmates, etc. And also, what happens is that they also make a lot more money in an easier way because they start letting themselves be supported. And that struggle story, no matter what level of success you've achieved in life, starts to disappear completely because you start owning more of your power in your femininity, which is what we need in the world nowadays, right? Women feeling content in their femininity and learning the true power that it holds. So I know this is a really deep training. <laughs> Uh, I'm back ladies. I, I know I talk um, and I give you a lot and I just wanted you to understand that like the metaphysics of things, but like at a soul spiritual level, we're really bringing it down here. I want to um, help you not have this love thing be confusing so that you know what to do. And I know that this supported you. So I'd love to hear in the comment sections, what really uh, landed for you, biggest takeaways and what you notice currently going on online. That is going to help me to know what other videos to do for you. And if you are interested to know more about Goddess of Love, my top signature exclusive program, it's starting, it's like super VIP because we get to connect a lot, okay? And you get amazing results just for being part of it and taking that responsibility and that ownership for yourself, right? You're in your power. So based in that, um, the program is starting really soon in a couple of weeks. And I have some time available for, to connect with those who re are really interested um, to know more about it. It is a private, like it's a program where 
um, you get to talk with me over the phone to explore how I can best support you and if it's the right fit for me for you, whether it is to do the, that program, work with me privately or, or something else. And um, I'll support you. So I'm excited to hear your thoughts about this video and I'll talk to you really soon.